from cancer treatment to vaccines. You may wonder, where do these health innovations come from? Well, many of them started right here in Arizona, and there's one organization working to support these health innovations. This is Joan Kerber Walker. She's the president of AZ Bio. And Joan, you were sharing AZ Advances is working directly to support some of these health innovations and in a very unique way right here in our community. Absolutely. We have amazing research institutions, educational institutions, and healthcare institutions helping our patients. But there are so many unmet needs. And so AZ Advances is working to train tomorrow's workforce with internships for the kids, working to help the entrepreneurs build companies that can bring those cures forward, and most importantly, providing the financial resources so that it gets from that research lab to the clinic where it's helping the patient. Yeah, I love that most important part, that collaborative with the students. AZ uh, Advances is really connecting with those kids. Absolutely, and those kids get the opportunity to actually meet with our um, innovator companies mm -hmm. and even work with them. Let's talk about one of those companies <clears throat> because again, things that you use every day, they are innovating health solutions right here in our community. Share one of those companies doing amazing so, things. So when we talk about health innovations, right, there's the everyday things mm -hmm. that we use, but then for some people they need so much more. Now, hydrocephalus is a condition where there's too much fluid inside our heads protecting our brain. We all have fluid in our brains. It keeps our brain from knocking right, around. Right. But if there's too much, it puts pressure on the brain and it can be debilitating or deadly. And so it affects older people and babies. And with babies, there are some children that have had more brain surgeries than birthdays by the time they're 18. Mm. So what this does is it relieves the pressure on the brain by draining off some of that fluid and it is life-changing for these patients. And the company here in Arizona that's doing that is called Annuncia, and they're at the Sky Song Innovation Center, and they're doing amazing work because when they drain it off, if it gets clogged, you have to have another brain surgery. Theirs doesn't get clogged. And so less brain surgeries, better life for the patient. I mean, I, people at home are probably like, wow, I didn't know that. And there's so many companies just like this doing amazing work right here in our community. And I want you to share with the folks about the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund. This is huge. So we have a challenge in Arizona. There is not enough early stage funding to make these things happen. And so um, community members from AZ Bio and the Opportunity for Entrepreneurship Foundation went to the legislature and met with Senator Gowan and explained the problem. He worked with the, our elected leaders to create the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund. And that is going to grow and grow and grow. And as it grows, it will be able to help fund these life-changing innovations being created in Arizona forever. That's right. And give us the number, too. Two. The goal is $200 million. <laughs> I wanted you to say And it. when we raise $200 million, it will be managed by the state treasurer and it will grow and protect our people forever. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We want you to learn more about the Arizona-based health innovations right here in our community by visiting azbio.org slash azadvances.